man, grooming is expensive. Look at this razor. $200, $500, $600 for a razor. Disposable razors. Look at this man package, 80 bucks. 150 bucks for one blade. 75 bucks. I did a little searching. Some Google skills. I got sidetracked by looking at some hot girls. But then I was on a mission to find out how to save money, extend the life of my disposable razor blades. And I found a lot of videos on YouTube. The average person spends over $160 a year That's a lot of money. on razor blades. I dip the blade I hear in the beer? alcohol to get the rest of the remainder of the uh, uh, water off, moisture off the blade. And I say... All right, so there's a lot of talk about alcohol. Rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol can be found in most home medicine cabinets. It can be used to fight infections, clean your skin and pores of toxins. Okay, I just had a good idea. Let's save some money. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here's what we have. Today's date is May 21st, 2019. So you can see I dated this jar October 6th, 2018. So that's over seven months of me trying to be frugal with these alcohol tips for letting your razors last or helping your razors last longer, which should save you some money. Uh, as a fellow who shaves his face, you know, well, I trim up my beard, uh, I trim up my neck, I trim up uh, my arms, different things. But the cost of razors, they can add up. And even when you get a good deal on razors, like I like to use the Dorco, uh, the Pace 5. Let me show you that right there. Dorco Pace 5. Good deal on these, but they're still expensive. Daily use, they get dull. You don't get a nice cut. When you're somebody like me who likes to line up their beard, you need a sharp blade to really get that line going. And um, if you don't have a sharp blade like me, I like to do the top of my chest when I wear V-necks. I don't want my big hairy chest poking out. So all those things, they wear out your blades and it costs you money. So I thought, being the frugal fella that I am, and I'm pretty smart, I figured, well, I'll tell you what. I'll start a rotation where I take my good blades, every blade, anything sharp that I use, and I'll just sit them in alcohol for an extended period of time, and it should make them like new. So that's the logic that I have here. 91%, this is the heavy hitter, this is the hard hitter, 91% isopropyl alcohol. So that's the strong stuff, not the 70%, not the 50%. And uh, this is just an example of blades that I use on the daily this little one right here, this little daddy, I use that inside of my nose. Get some nose hairs. I also use that to uh, make sure I don't have a uni brow. And I also use it to shape my eyebrows, give myself a little arch, make myself look a little more awake than I actually am. Now, on my cheeks, I use a simple Walmart great value twin blade with a little sensitive strip there on the top. I use that on the cheeks, but on the neck, I go with a big blade. I also use the, the multi-blades on the arms, uh, you know, different body parts like that, line things up. So, over seven months, what happens when you leave your razors in 91% isopropyl alcohol for seven months. Let's find out. Hopefully they're gonna come out just like new, okay? And I'll also mark the line here. And even though this jar has been sealed, top has not been popped. That's how much alcohol was in there just sitting in the bathroom. It lost a good bit. Go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna see if we have some like new razors, blades, things of that sort. So what do we have in here? It's been a while. I've got a bunch of multi-blades in here. This one, I don't know what brand that is. That might be a Dorco. Let's see if we can get a good look at the blade here. Ooh, what's going on right there? What is that action about? Unexpected results here. Is that rust? 
going on. Otherwise, looks good. We'll, we'll try that blade in a minute. We'll try it in a minute. We're going to put it over here. Let me get these good ones out of here so I don't make a mistake with that. Ooh, this alcohol is smells strong. All right, let's get this one out. Now, this one is a, this is a Dorco Pace right here. Pull that daddy out of there. Give it an inspection. This one looks like this was some kind of painted surface and the paint is kind of getting eaten off there. I don't know what that is. Let's go around, look at the front. It seems like we've got the same kind of issue here in the front. Some rusting on the sides. I think maybe the blades are some type of stainless steel. But whatever holds the blades in on the side is not. So then you can see the different metals and it's got rust. Other than that though, looks good. Probably like new. Probably saves some money. And inside of here I've got one eyebrow trim. Whoa. Now, this is a little eyebrow nose trimmer that I use here. Now the weight of it sitting in there over time, the the alcohol has made this daddy flexible. Now it's cocked all the way 90 degrees. Wow. What does the blade look like? I see rust on it. I see rust. I don't know if you can see that. I see a little rust on there. Ooh, don't know about that, but that's weird. How, how messed up is this thing? Very soft. Very pliable. Weird stuff. Well, anyway, so I let some hair grow out of my arms. We're going to go ahead and try these razors that have been sitting in the isopropyl alcohol for over seven months. And if they still cut well, I am nervous about the rust. Now, I'm not a blade or a skin scientist, so I don't know how dangerous it is to shave yourself with something that's that's rusty. But there's nothing I won't do for silly reviews. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share. Go to sillyreviews.com slash support. You can see other ways to help me out. But here we go. We'll get some light on the hair on my arms here. And we've got two multi-blades that have been sitting in the alcohol. And then we've got this messed up eyebrow trimmer. So... Here we go. That's like butter, people. Straight up butter. It's cutting. It really is. Not bad. Probably worth the wait on that one. Good stuff. So, that one's good to go. Now, we're going to use this other Dorco. Let me get the other arm here and get some light on the situation. And this one's got a little rust on it too. Kind of worry about that, but now this one is it? This one's not really shaving as good as the other one. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's doing okay. Pretty good. I think this is going to be a great idea. That I'm going to take all my blades, maybe use them a couple times, or maybe just straight out of the box. And uh, just sit them in a jar of alcohol and forget about them for a while. That's really going to be a money saver. Now, my little eyebrow tr trimmer that the plastic is giving way on. We're going to try that on maybe a, a finger, some finger hair here. See if I can get that to show up. Kind of difficult here. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get an angle to even do this. Let's get some hair on my middle finger. I'm just gonna... It cut it all off. Wow! I am I'm about to extend the life of my razor blades like never before. You know what? I feel like saving more money. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna put these back in here. I guess I am not trying to waste money on blades. So, overall, I think this has been a, a great success... I hope you agree with me. So if you're looking to save money on uh, razor blades, the expenses of grooming and hygiene, then I would highly recommend that you you get some serious real deal, 91%, maybe stronger. Can, is there stronger isopropyl alcohol out there? I do not know. Leave a comment. Let me know. But this is definitely a money saver. So I think we're just going to come back and we're going to revisit this. I'm going to go ahead and put 
a new date on it. So today is 5 21 19. Maybe we'll revisit that in about a year. And uh, the good Lord willing, I'll be able to show you guys how much more money I was able to save by basically, I, I guess, preserving these things. So always, always love to help my viewers, you know, their finances. I think this one's going to really pay off for you. Now, I did notice this. There's an expiration date on the alcohol. It's going to expire in August of 2021. So that'll be interesting to see just how many, how many years am I going to just keep on saving money? We'll see. We'll find out. Anyway, if you've uh, hung through this entire review, I appreciate it. I'll ask you again to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, also, I will be doing giveaways on this channel very soon. I've figured out a method that's going to work that will hopefully bring some new viewers to Silly Reviews. We'll continue the growth. I, I just hit, at the time of this video, right over 2 million views. That's exciting. I almost have 3,000 subscribers. Now, that is a, a turtle's pace for a YouTube channel, but we're going to keep it going. So anyway, hope you're all doing well and you enjoyed my video. Quality knowledge here. I'm not a finance scientist, but I always try to help you guys out. Shh, it's awesome. Again, my name is Ryan for Silly Reviews. Thank you for watching.